There is no wrong. Hello, it's John Butt of Marketing for Owners, the podcast, coming to you from a chairlift at a ski resort called Aim La Plagne. This is, for those of you that know the place, this is the Corella chairlift that runs up from the Killis uh, Cafe, which just does an extremely nice hot chocolate with rum in. Uh, RV had the one without the rum. So what's all this about that there is no wrong? Remember last week I was telling you about it's more than just marketing, which means it's a whole lifestyle thing. So you've got to learn to delegate. You've got to learn to involve other people so that it, you can get on and have a better life. Now, if you're going to delegate, you have to learn that there is no wrong. So what that means is, remember when you started, or maybe you can't, when you start in business, you did things that you'd never done before. Now it's your business, you had to figure them out, you had to work out how to do it, and how it was going to work. And if something went wrong, if something didn't happen, if, if it's your fault or someone else's fault, it didn't matter, you had to deal with it. So, I would like you to try and think the same for your employees or your team or your staff. They can do no wrong because if you criticize what they do, and there is, by the way, there is constructive criticism and destructive criticism, and we all think we're given constructive, and it's not always the case. So if you give criticism explaining why they why it wasn't quite good enough and how they could improve it next time they aren't either not going to bother next time or they're not going to put any effort in because they will assume that you will criticize and tell them how it should be done secretly in their mind they're going to be thinking why don't you just do it yourself if i can't do it right so let them do it let them learn Let them get it wrong. Let them know how to do it next time. Let them figure it out for themselves. So if it is wrong, go up to them and say, fantastic job, I appreciate the effort you put in. It's not easy. Don't you worry if you think this is wrong. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll be great next time. It's all part of the learning curve. Don't you worry, go for it. Then you'll enable people to try and put an effort in. You'll enable them to do it slightly differently. You'll enable them to do it their way instead of just being told how to do it. Because uh, one of the things I learned many years ago when I thought I was good at delegating was when my staff were asked independently what they thought of my uh, delegating was they they said, yeah, it's great. He gets us to do a lot. However, he always tells us exactly how he wants it doing. So although he delegates it, he puts it within a box. And that is not good. I thought I was helping from my experience, but no, everyone has to learn by themselves. Now, another thing you may think, oh, staff aren't very good. Well, hey, you hired them. So hire well, but you choose people for their initiative, their ability to try, their ability to figure out situations. Remember, if someone, uh, when people have kids, There's no school for having kids. There's no instruction manual. You can buy books, you can ask people, but everyone has to figure it out themselves. I can't ever remember when I was a little kid of anyone in in the classroom not coming to school because they died because their parents didn't look after them properly. Parents, some parents are great, some aren't so good, but they all get by. They all do well enough. Now in my company at Fire Protection Online, I make it extremely clear to all my staff that there are two states. There is good enough for now and better. And I let them know that they, it's up to them to decide if something can be improved upon. People should be constantly improving, but they have to want to improve themselves. In life, in everything that you do, that's what it's all about. So I could waffle on and on about it, But very, very important, do not tell your staff or your team that they did something wrong, okay? Allow them some leeway. Do not tell them how it could be done better next time. Let them know if they ever want any help or any advice. You don't mind if they feel they did it wrong, it's their own decision. But you're not going to criticize. If they want any any help from your experience, they can come and get it. But you're not going to offer it 
because you want them to learn, you want them to get on, you want them to develop this for themselves. You trust them, tell them they can't get it wrong. You'll find an amazing change in people's use of initiative and an advance in your team building, um, your work, your company culture, your work uh, happiness, your staff's happiness, and their willingness to come to work. There you go. How about that for a Monday? Anyway, uh, it is Monday, so it's time for a book for the week. This week, got a fantastic one. It's called Steal the Show by Michael Port. Now, Michael Port is fantastic. He used to be an actor, a real actor. He's been in Sex and the City and various other things. Read up his bio, he'll tell you. But Steal the Show, is uh, he's translated that acting ability into speaking on stage, speaking in presentations, in sales presentations, uh, job interviews, all those things. You imagine where you have to speak to somebody and impress them. Well, Michael Port knows exactly how to do that. And that's how he, what he teaches you in Steal the Show. It is highly, highly recommended, no matter who you are, even if you're just going for a job interview or for a college interview, something like that. He gives you an amazing amount of confidence. I recommend it. And we're just coming up to the end of the chairlift. So, ad-libbed and managed to get this in just in time. I hope it was a good one. I will be back tomorrow from somewhere else at Aim La Plagne. Bye for now.